I'm gonna be taking a look here at a game. It's kind of an import game, game imported by Japanime Studios, or Japanime Games, rather. I think it's made by Uncommon. It's called Crossmaster Arena. The little characters are called Wack Foos and Doe Foos in it. I'm not familiar with the background on it, so I don't know where that comes from. It's kind of a little board game where the little guys fight each other and try to get points. You're going to get eight figure with character cards and two exclusive figures. You get a two sided game board, over 200 counters, 20 different little uh, cardboard scenery elements it looks like and some dice and they do sell expansions for it I have a few of the expansions with some unboxing videos because you can kind of see what comes in those it's like uh, over 30 different figures are going to be available for it by the time they get done with their initial release of this what do they expand beyond that I don't know it's a pretty decent sized box here. So you're gonna get your rule book. Nice and thick, full color looks like. Looks like you're gonna get uh, kind of an introduction to the uh, background here. Some of the contents you're gonna get. So we have injury markers, action points, magic points, tokens, character cards, actual characters, gallons of glory tokens, I believe those are like your victory points. Some scenery, some other little tokens for uh, things you can uh, summon or use during the game. Some comma tokens that are like currency in the game and some demonic reward tokens. They, uh, you can see some of the tokens they actually have figurines for and they made those available in the Kickstarter but you had to spend a pretty good bit of money just to be able to buy them. I'm hoping they eventually make those available because they're, 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 you know, cardboard tokens are nice but the other tokens are always, they, they tend to immerse you in the game a little more. So you get your description of contents and you get, you're going to get the, uh, go right into the rules with some tutorials here and I think you can actually play the tutorials right on the rule book. They, uh, if I remember right they do have this rule book I believe crossmaster.com is their website and I do believe they have the rule book online you can look through it. And you can see the map gets a little bigger in the next tutorial a little bit bigger I'm probably adding some new little features so you can slowly learn the game so by the end you go through seven tutorials and you get a breakdown of the basics, how to start the game, game turns, magic points and action points, how to cast a spell, how to use the summon tokens, different powers and scenery, how they work, a description of all the different demonic rewards, and a description of all the equipment some advanced rules and then some FAQs and it looks like you get a uh, quick reference part on the back it's always nice you can see your scenery and tokens here Let's see all the different tokens you get and the scenery kind of has that uh, cross piece where they fit into each other so they, they do have resin tokens for this I'm not sure when they're going to be available or if they're going to be available for general pur purchase. Right. Let's see, here's some more. Some more trees and bushes. And some different chickens and bombs and sheep. Looks like we have some different equipment and rewards you can get here. buffs and different things, some 
damage tokens, action, and magic tokens, some currency. Here's some more equipment and some of the rank other stuff. I and mean, then these are the gallons of glory. And I believe these are what you strive to get to to win the game if you don't just knock your opponent out altogether. Get the game board opened up here. So it's a quad fold game board. It's not too huge. It does have a little bit of... No, I didn't. That was not exactly underneath there. So you can see you get the kind of a stone padded area, maybe like a little sunken temple or something, surrounded by some forest, and then you set your other crates and other tokens out around it. And here it looks like you get kind of another little thing in the middle, and then you get maybe water, earth, fire, and air kind of surround it, kind of maybe like a little elemental. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's the name of the map, the Elemental. And the name of the other map is the Pit Arena. So it's a pit, not a little uh, shrine or anything. So that's your board. And then inside the box, you're going to get you know, it's a pretty big box here. Uh, Gonna get the space, you're gonna get your eight characters in here. You're gonna get some dice and cards, and then you're gonna get some more space to stick your tokens and other stuff in. It's like maybe the pit there can fit your, uh, if you buy more characters for the game, you can fit the uh, little guys in the pit. So the dice are pretty just black and white and have lots of little symbols, you know, shields, magnets, little boots with kicking symbols on little boots by themselves. It's like you get eight of those, I believe. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if they were exclusive to Kickstarter or not, if they sold some little transparent, jeweled looking color type dices. Dice, rather. They do have these cards packed very tight. Try not to mess them up. So these are going to be your character cards for play in the game. And you're going to have a nice piece of art on one side and the stats on the other. The camera will stay straight. So you have little Healy. It's like a little fairy almost. And there's your stats. You have Oscar Cass and his stats. You have Anatomy. Bataboom. Bataboom. Cassius Chaos. Bill Tails. Queen of Tofus. Yeah, Queen of the Tofus. And King of the Go Balls. These are the two exclusive or limited ones that you only get in the box. So we'll take a look at each of the characters and this is flimsy. I hope that's didn't have that problem with any of the expansion packs. Hopefully a little glue will fix it and not haze it up too much. So this is the king of the go balls or gobbles. Some of these uh, figures are very similar. They uh, essentially the same sculpt with different paint jobs or maybe a little different doodad put on there. 
say he's got kind of a sheep or goat theme to him, maybe. He does not want to fit back in his base. He will have to be glued. His camera is fighting me. We have Queen of the Tofus. I'm guessing this is her. Yes. And she's almost got like a... It's kind of a bird hat. You can see from the art on the card, there's all these little birds and she's flying with them. As with the King of the Go Balls, he's got all these little goat, cow looking creatures. Almost has a superhero look to her. She got a scepter. We have Bill Tell here. And he's wielding a bow and arrow. He's real similar to one of the guys you're going to get in the expansion pack. It's kind of a different paint job, different stats for his card. Cassius Chaos, almost like a witch doctor looking fella here. And there's a similar looking character to him, but the mask is very, very different. But the body and the hair are real similar to him. We have Bada Boom here. And again, there's another similar character, but he doesn't have the bomb in his hand. I think he's got two pistols instead. And of course, the paint job is very, very different. Tommy here. She's kind of wielding a little bit of magic there, maybe. Out of her hand. She's got a long ponytail, almost has a bandit pirate look to it. We have Oscar Cass. And again, this is one where they have a very similar look to it, other characters. It just has a different paint job. I think the other one has kind of a white theme to him, and his arm just broke. Well, that is not very good. See, his arm just came off. And it does look like it glues on there, so it's not broke. So on the base box, I got a couple of pieces already that aren't have the best quality as far as assembly but they can be fixed easily if you have glue or any experience with models and the last one you have here is little Healy again very similar to another sculpt they have you know it has a different kind of symbol in there but has the same face and hair and comes with wings the real difference on them is going to be on the stat card on how they perform in the game but uh that's everything that comes in the base box and i also got uh, a promo figure that was available i'm not sure how limited this is if it's just if this is you do get a stat card with it it's like you do get a little mini map with it too Mini maps come in a lot of expansion. This is Amalia. You get some little tokens here. And they're not as good a quality as the ones that come in the base game, but at least the ones that come in the base game are nice thick cardboard tokens. And you don't get a map with this, but you do get the, the fold out that comes with it. You kinda, you know, you get a code to do something online breakdown of how the rules work kind of a timeline that shows where all the characters fall in in the story of the dofu age and the whack food era oh you do get a map with it and this is the hunt for the emerald dofu so you have some crack rocks there 
Okay, and then we'll take a look at the figure that comes in here. And this is Amalia. I have not seen the sculpt yet. She just kind of has a little island princess look to her, maybe. But that is everything you get in Crossmaster Arena, the base board game. And that is a promo for just an expansion release of the Amalia figure.